personal vehicle or purchase equipment to perform your job without being reimbursed by your employer. Call 800-387-5352. An exquisite dining experience awaits you at Indian Heritage Restaurant in Clovis. Open seven days a week, Indian Heritage offers traditional, authentic Indian cuisine from an extensive menu. Buy the all-you-can-eat weekly lunch buffet at Indian Heritage. Or buy two entrees and get a free appetizer. Many vegetarian dishes are also a specialty. Happy hour is also 5 to 7 p.m. daily. Indian food is healthy and delicious. Come and try us. Indian Heritage Restaurant in the Barnyard Shopping Center on Clovis Avenue in Clovis. Hi, I'm Randy Alvarez, host of the Wellness Hour. This week, no more dentures. My discussion with Dr. Negrani. He says if you're missing one tooth, a few teeth, and especially if you have a loose-fitting denture, this is a must-see. Check your local listings for the airings of this interview. Make the call that can change your life. The following is a small parody of Big Insurance. Psst, excuse me. Oh, yes? How can I help you? I had a bit of a car accident, and I need Berg injury lawyers. Of course. But what's with the bag? Let's just say the people I work for would hate to see me here. Ugh, yeah. Get that a lot. After a car accident, get Berg. 800-400-BERG. Excuse me! back everybody Richard Lee you like that song don't you well, maybe we'll have you come up and do some air guitar later on for us hey uh, let's give it up for Laurel Canyon those guys tore it up and they'll be back on the show in just a little while uh, it's ambush uh, Wednesday apparently uh, we, we've already had Seraphin Quintanar up here trying to push his beliefs on me now we have Jared Gordon let's bring in Jared Thanks for having Jared, me. How are you? Good to see you. You know, I wore a sport coat and everything today because you were going to be here, and then you come in looking all casual. What's up? You know, I, I like to keep it casual with you. I like to keep it light and fresh. I get that a lot. Also, I never uh, really have to wear a tie working at home, so one of the, the joys of being a telecommuter. All right, so uh, what's going on, buddy? I guess, I guess we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, driver's licenses. Yeah, and, I appreciate and, you and, ambushing uh, me with that topic. The Hispanic people well it doesn't have to be just hispanic people right i mean there's lots of immigrants that come to california and they presumably are all affected by it you know there's been immigrants coming to the united states for many years as i can recall absolutely um but that's certainly not true for illegal immigration where there really wasn't a big spike in illegal immigration until relatively recently uh really not until the 90s i, I thought they were going back i thought the economy was so bad they were giving up well, I have heard that that's true in recent times, yeah. the last couple of years. I mean, you know, but, you no know, one can find a job, so it yeah, doesn't matter whether you're legal or illegal in Obama's don't, America. Don't that's you find the way it, it a little weird that they call them illegal aliens? Because illegal is like something that like is harming, like they're, they're hurting you or something. No, they're illegal aliens because they are breaking the law in being here. You really believe that, don't you? Look, it's you can look up the U.S. code if you want to. I'm an attorney. I don't do immigration law, but I can read just as well as everyone else can that the United States has immigration laws, and there's a lot of people, millions of people in California who break the immigration laws, and that's straightforward. That's why they're illegal aliens. I know. It's not a judgment I, against them. Let me them. tell you it's something, buddy. factual description. I know a blueberry farmer here in the valley grows a lot of blueberries. He was offering up $16 an hour during the summer for people to go out and pick blueberries. He couldn't get anybody to go out there and do them. Absolutely. Okay, so would people take a $16 an hour office job? A lot of people would. You know who had to do his picking of his blueberries? Those darn illegals. I, look, you know? I have nothing against people who want to get a job. I, I think that we should, as a society, figure out a way for people who are U.S. citizens to have jobs 
people who are legal residents to have jobs and people who are uh, currently here illegally, we should figure out a way to accommodate them. But the right way to do that has nothing to do with the state of California getting involved in immigration policy. It is simply not something that states are supposed to do. In if, fact, if we Arizona missed them on the way in, shame on us. It's our fault. They're already here. Let's give them a license so at least we know where they're at. Because here's the deal. You don't give them a license, then they don't have to have insurance. They don't have to really register their cars. So they're not paying into the system that way. You know what I'm saying? Except that I think you're making a lot of false assumptions. One of those is that, first of all, you, in California, a third of drivers are not registered. A third of drivers also don't have insurance. That's people who have driver's licenses. If you, if they don't if have you give driver's licenses they don't have a to license. illegal aliens, it really won't make a difference. You're going to end up with a large population who doesn't pay to register if their you car don't, and if you doesn't don't have insurance, their car. you don't have a license, Jared. Look, that's not the way that it works. You have to have insurance when you get your license, but otherwise you just keep your card. No one's taking it away from you. That's not they're, true. They, they send electronically them, send no it to DMV the DMV. Police. Yes, but there's no DMV police that goes to your house and takes your physical license away from you. You can continue to use that license the same way that everyone else does. Unless there's a traffic stop, you're not running into that problem. The, uh, pl the Fresno PD is are impounding cars every day Absolutely. for people that don't have insurance. That's right. They, and they're making money they do, off of that. Right. Whenever they do their, their uh, quote unquote DUI stops, what they really are doing is capturing people who are driving without a license and they're driving without insurance. They're yeah, taking I mean, that's people's the vast majority of stops. cars is what but they're those doing. Aren't, those aren't all illegal aliens. They're not all They're not all drunk legal either. Residents. They're all, often they're citizens. No, absolutely. Wait, it's, you're a lawyer. Yeah. Is that illegal for them to do that? For them to stop people? No, 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 no. To have the pretense of the DUI checkpoint to take their, their, their cars? Well, it, it's funny you ask that. So there is a, a U.S. Supreme Court case that allows specifically uh, stops for drunk driving. So I'm, if that's, I'm for it. If that's the purpose, that is allowed. Uh, I'm, I'm, been I'm, other I'm for it tests. all the way. They can stop all the drunk drivers they want. Get them off the road. Yeah, so if they were just testing for uh, driver's licenses and registration, if that was the only reason to stop people, uh, that would probably not be permitted because there's no public safety connection that's sort of direct with that. There is another case where police were stopping people, literally stopping everyone, without uh, suspicion to check for drugs. Without cause. Yes, right, there's no probable cause to check for drugs in people's cars, and the Supreme Court said that was not okay. So um, this is just off the top of my head. I haven't researched this issue uh, since law school, but uh, that is you know, generally the answer. The cops can't stop people just for the purpose of making revenue off them not having licenses and registration. Well, if they're going through a DUI checkpoint, they're not drunk, and they have a they have a valid license, valid registration, or, or invalid registration, or invalid uh, no, no uh, insurance. Should they be able to take their car? Shouldn't they just give them a ticket and uh, go to go to court and let them hash it out there? I mean, I don't think it's right that they're taking cars. Well, let's let's first say that there's I think a difference between the moral question here and the legal question. The legal answer is that. Yes, they can impound their cars. It's illegal to drive without a uh, valid license and registration, as long as there is that primary purpose of uh, DUI checks at the checkpoint. It's legal. They can incidentally check your license and registration, and when they find that you don't have it, they take it away. Now, I'm, let's be you know, honest about it. I think most of the time, the, the goals of these checkpoints are really getting Monetary. people for license and registration violations and taking their, you know, their fines and uh, taking their cars potentially from them but you know during Christmas they have the saturation thing that they do and I believe it and I know everybody's uh, the, the numbers go up for people yeah. drinking and driving but here's the thing they'll, they'll have these checkpoints and they'll get like eight eight D, eight DUIs and they'll impound like 40 cars it's just not right I think a, a good community we would uh, give them a ticket and we, we we would find a way to get them insurance and get their get them their license back or whatever i just don't i just don't believe in it but back to the the hispanics i think that we should give them a license washington state does it it works out great for them i think it pumps more money into the economy i think we know where they're at we have their fingerprints everything like that i think it's a good idea i kind of understand your point 
Too bad we have to take a commercial right now, but Jared, I want to thank you for coming by. Thanks. All right, Jared Gordon, everybody. Stick around. We still have Laurel Canyon here to play some more music for you. Laura Splotch is here. Becky Caraveo is on her way. So is Eileen and Paratree. Stick around, and maybe you'll see some more Richard Lee. This segment is brought to you by Horn Photo in the Villaggio at River Park. For all of your photo and camera needs, go to Horn Photo in the Villaggio at River Park. With AT&T, you're sure to get a better bundle. Just choose the two, three, even four services you want to build a bundle that works for you. Call AT&T now. Choose a U-verse Triple Play bundle for just $79 a month. Get the same great price for two years. Plus, switch today and get a total home DVR included for life. With U-verse high-speed internet, connect all your Wi-Fi-enabled devices to your wireless gateway and save on smartphone and tablet data usage at home. And now, choose from internet speeds up to 45 megs, our fastest speed ever. With UVerse TV, you can record up to four shows at once with a total home DVR and play them back in any room. So call now to choose a UVerse Triple Play Bundle for just $79 a month. Get the same great price for two years, plus switch and get a total home DVR included for life. Why wait? Call today. Choose AT&T and build your bundle. It's whatever works for you. Are you one of the millions of people living with bladder control problems and on Medicaid? Then stay tuned for a special free offer from Active Style. How would you like to have all your incontinent supplies delivered discreetly right to your door at no cost to you and with free shipping? You can, thanks to Active Style. Hello. At Active Style, we understand your needs and we're here to help. We offer convenient home delivery of a variety of products for bladder control and incontinence issues, and they may be available at no cost to you if you're Medicaid eligible. When you call us, a personal incontinence consultant, someone like me, will help you find the right product that is both comfortable and makes you feel secure. In fact, your comfort and satisfaction is assured by our Get It Right guarantee. Plus, your supplies can be delivered discreetly right to your door for free. And best of all, our caring and complete service costs you nothing if you're Medicaid eligible. So let us help you. Make the call and Active Style will find a product that is just right for you. If the fit is not right, we'll send different products until you are completely satisfied. That's our Get It Right guarantee. Your privacy is assured. Our incontinence products arrive direct to your door in discreet boxes, so you can forget about making those embarrassing trips to the store. Plus, Active Style will take care of any paperwork and personally follow up to check on your supplies to be sure you don't run out. If you or someone you know is incontinent, let us make life easier. Call now. And if you're Medicaid eligible, we'll also send you a free sample. You'll get great caring service, our Get It Right guarantee, and a free sample, all when you call right now. This is a special TV offer, so please call now. If you're on Medicaid, call now for your free sample. We'll ship your incontinent supplies discreetly to your door, so no more embarrassment at the store. Active Style is the most convenient way to get your incontinent supplies, and it costs you nothing. Have your Medicaid card ready and call 1-866-482-1518. That's 1-866-482-1518. Call now. I told you Richard Lee loves this song. Richard doing a little air guitar there, uh, my theme song. You like the song, Richard? What? Oh, yeah, I like a lot, Jeff. Now, uh, you said you're going to do some stand-up comedy for us? I'll do some stand-up for you, Jeff. Okay, and it's just like when you do it in the club. So if people out there are watching and they want to come see you, they'll know what to expect. Yeah. Okay, Richard Lee, everybody. How you doing out there? Asian, Asian back in the house, all right. Asian back in the house, all right. How you doing, guys? Good. All right. You know, economy is bad. Economy is bad. Economy is so bad, Ron McDonald got fired and got work at Jack in the Box. That is pretty bad. That is bad. Yeah, economy is bad. Economy is bad. Economy is so bad. McDonald's happy meal, not so happy no more. That is pretty bad. That is bad. 
That's bad. The economy is bad. The economy is bad. The economy is so bad. You know, uh, Chuck E. Cheese had to go work at Jack in the Box. Go work at uh, Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese had to go work at go work at McDonald's. I mean, that is pretty bad. That is bad. That is pretty bad. That is bad. <laughs> no, and and now a word from the President of the United States. Thank you. No, I'm Barack Obama. You know, you know there's a lot of trouble in Syria. Now, my friend, uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, I'm John Kerry, <laughs> and my thank you, thank you, uh, Barack. I'm John Kerry. Thank you, thank you, John. Oh, uh, thank you, John. Oh, uh, and uh, you know I've been traveling around the world a lot because of you, and I get free free fire miles. <laughs> and uh and uh meeting all these people and it's uh not quite very fun <laughs> so meeting all these people and i i, I, I need a lot of twinkies and cookies <laughs> so, <laughs> so also eat all the ketchup because of my, my wife uh Owns a uh, Heinz ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, so, uh, right. Okay, um, John, thank you for being my Secretary of State. I, I picked you because you, uh, you're, uh, you're good at foreign relations. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Brock. We're good buddies, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that right, that's right, John. Yeah, right. Now, if you, I wish you weren't so stiff. Well, I am versatile. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but I, I do wear a tie. That's why I'm more versatile. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, the thing in Syria, uh, uh, no, we do have to do air attacks, but we, we, do, we can't bomb Syria. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, uh, we have to be careful and ta ta tactful. Now, uh, John McCain, now, uh, he, he's gonna be, he's gonna help, help me out, okay? Yes, uh, I'm John McCain, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, John, John, uh, Miss, I, I can pull my pants. Uh, oh. John, uh, uh, can, I can help you out, I can pull my pants. Oh. Yeah, uh, Sarah's really great. Yeah, it's a very cool city. See, oh yeah, very nice people there. <laughs> oh, Senator John McCain. Oh yeah, really great, John. Great, John. Yeah, I'm Senator John, John McCain. Oh. Thank you, thank you, President Barack Obama, for inviting me for board on the board of foreign relations. <laughs> And uh, thank you, John. Thank you, Senator McCain. Thank you, Senator McCain. <laughs> and showing your tidy whities. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some twiggies? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I want some twiggies. Oh. <laughs> I get hungry because I, I I can pull up my pants. Richard Lee, everybody. Richard Lee. That was amazing. You're bringing the house down out here, Richard. Thank you, thank you, Chuck. Is that an impersonation or is that Richard Lee? <laughs> that, that was me. That, <laughs> I, could, I thought it was John McCain doing Richard Lee. That, that was me, Chuck. <laughs> I could hardly tell. Well, Richard, I want to thank, thank you very much for coming down here and taking a, 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 some time out of your busy school schedule. Oh, you're welcome, Can you come in? Now, uh, you just had a birthday, right? Yeah. How old did you turn? 37. You're 37 years old. Yep. What year were you born? 1976. He's 37. Who would have knew? <laughs> you know, Richard, you're one of those guys. 
You just don't know if you're 37 or 13. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're a lucky guy. Oh, thank you, Chuck. Thank you very much for coming down. And please come, come back on the buzz real soon. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take a quick commercial break. We still have more music from Laurel Canyon, but we have Laura Splotch here also, so stick around. We'll be right back on the Central Valley Buzz. This segment is brought to you by Mike Briggs Properties. For all of your real estate needs in Fresno and the Valley, call Mike Briggs Properties, located in Fresno's historic Tower District. It's Clovis Fest this Saturday and Sunday in Old Town Clovis. Hot air balloons, a huge arts and crafts show, delicious food, a beer garden, family carnival, and more. Table Mountain Casino's Clovis Fest, a Clovis Chamber event sponsored by KAIL-TV. The following is a small parody of Big Insurance. Psst, excuse me. Oh, yes? How can I help you? I had a bit of a car accident, and I need Berg injury lawyers. Of course. But... What's with the bag? Let's just say the people I work for would hate to see me here. Oh, yeah, get that a lot. After a car accident, get Berg. 800-400-BERG. Excuse me! The most rewarding part of my job is the students. Hands down. They bring a smile to my face every day. I love seeing when you can actually help somebody and make a difference. It's them sending us an email saying, I got this great job and I'm using my skills that I learned in your class. The most rewarding part is when they come back and tell me that I changed their life. That's amazing to me. How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt completely forgiven? National Credit Card Relief wants to give you a free, no-obligation consultation that will give you the secret. This is a government-approved program, and thousands have used it to have their credit card debt forgiven. It helps with credit card bills, doctor bills, and department store debt. Don't miss out. Call for your free debt forgiveness information now. 800-475-9085. That's 800-475-9085. 800-475-9085. Heard of the dollar menu? Well, guess what else you can get for a... 